The largest technology exhibition, Gitex 2023, took place in Dubai. The central theme of this year was AI and everything. Indeed, in the largest city of the United Arab Emirates, artificial intelligence is integrated into almost every new product or system. Nevertheless, the true highlights and center of attention for the exhibition visitors were robots and supercars. We have collected for you all the most interesting innovations presented at Gitex. Get ready to step into the real high-tech world of the future. At Gitex 2023, humanoid robots once again attracted significant attention. Entertaining the visitors was Amina, a robot presented by the company E and Enterprise. Amina welcomed guests to the booth, introduced them to the showcased innovations, and scolded those who misbehaved with the robot. Additionally, the company's booth has the Prosperity One Air Taxi from Autoflight, a partner of E and Enterprise. The fully electric vehicle comes in two versions, passenger and cargo. Prosperity One has a flight range of 250 kilometers and a cruising speed of 200 kilometers per hour. It has already been certified for flights and will start delivering cargo in January 2024 and passengers in 2025. Despite its full autonomy and safety certification, developers say there will still be a pilot in the cabin. Dubai police introduced their latest autonomous surveillance vehicle. The Patrol Robot, developed in collaboration with Micropolis Robotics, provides a 360-degree patrol and area coverage, transmitting real-time data to the command center. In addition, the four-wheeled rover robot can deploy a drone for additional aerial perspective. Finally, there's a humanoid police officer, or rather, a customs officer. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This robot can recognize and assess the faces of people and in groups of up to seven people from a distance of up to six meters. This robot is designed to assist customs officers in gathering more information about each traveler. Moreover, the robot can answer people's questions in their native language and display relevant information on its screen. The bot will also handle some custom services, all while evaluating your satisfaction with its performance through cameras and sensors, simultaneously determining your gender and age. This year, Gitex featured more than 6,000 companies from 170 countries. There were 1,400 speakers participating in panel discussions and events. Over the course of five days, the event attracted 180,000 visitors. Visitors were entertained with virtual reality attractions, various gadgets, avatars with artificial intelligence, and of course, Robodogs. For instance, the practical and ready-to-implement Robodog X30 by Deep Robotics was presented. Deep Robotics is a leading company in the industrial application of Robodogs. X30 is an innovative robot designed for industrial use in multiple fields, including electricity monitoring, biological detection, emergency rescue operations, construction and mapping, education, scientific research, and more. Its advantages include obstacle navigation, long service life, quick battery replacement, and reliable auto charging capabilities. Another notable Robodog spotted at the exhibition was Swiss Mile. This robot with legs ending in wheels can swiftly move on smooth roads and navigate stairs and obstacles. Thanks to its stable gait, it can also maintain balance on two legs and even hold a load in its upper paws. The robot is equipped with 16 motors and cameras all around its perimeter. According to its creators, it can be used for last mile delivery and surveillance. Also presented at the exhibition were the first humanoid robots with artificial intelligence developed in Africa. Each robot in the Omefa lineup can communicate in eight languages and perform simple tasks, such as shaking hands. These robots were developed by a team from Unicon, a Nigerian technology startup that offers innovative solutions to businesses and government institutions across Africa. The humanoid is made of recycled materials, including old car parts and electronic waste. The robot has two arms, two legs, and a head with a solar panel. In addition to communicating with humans, the robot can connect to the internet and other devices via Wi-Fi. The robot Artemis, developed by the Romella Laboratory at the University of California, Los Angeles, was introduced. It stands at one and a half meters tall, weighing 38 kilograms, or 83 pounds. It can run at a speed of 2.1 meters per second, making it the fastest bipedal robot developed to date. The developers state that they are creating Artemis in anticipation of a time when machines will replace football players. According to their predictions, robots will be able to compete against human champions around 2050. Currently, Artemis 
Venus is capable of walking on uneven and unstable surfaces, as well as running and jumping while maintaining balance, even under strong impact. Made from carbon fiber, aluminum, and titanium, Artemis uses artificial intelligence to optimize its movements. In the future, the robot will be able to climb stairs, open doors, and even drive a car. However, by that time, human drivers might no longer be necessary. A robot farmer capable of accurately planting seeds, growing and harvesting crops attracted significant attention at the exhibition. The robot equipped with sensors accurately assesses the water and nutrients needed for each plant. The working prototype farm bot promises an era of high-tech agriculture. According to the developers, the robot's advanced sensors meticulously monitor soil conditions and optimize resource usage. Additionally, the robot reduces water wastage and minimizes chemical usage. The planning process is executed by its two robotic arms under the supervision of a monitoring camera, which sends data to the system to assess the accuracy of the robot's actions. All of this is done automatically. In essence, humans might not be needed here very soon. Dubai police also displayed a real James Bond car at the exhibition. This is an amphibious supercar based on the Corvette chassis. This luxurious rapid response patrol car can reach speeds of up to 45 knots or 83 kilometers per hour on water. Its engine has a displacement of 1800 cubic centimeters or 110 cubic inches. The vehicle can accommodate up to two passengers and has a maximum weight of 625 kilograms or 1,377 pounds. The car is expected to contribute to rescue operations and ensure swift deployment and response to any incidents. Let's move on to a very unusual ice cream cafe. It is the Robot Cafe by VLT Robotics. This is a new model of the Xbot Cafe. It's the only cafe in the world that can serve up to seven personal variations of drinks and food. VLT Robotics manufactures the Xbot kiosks in Dubai and sells them as a business. Customers from all over the world purchase these kiosks to place them in airports, local parks, shopping centers, and waterfronts. Establishments that can sell an average of 100 cups a day can provide their owners with 80 to 100% annual return on investment. Another standout supercar at the exhibition was the Mercedes-Benz Vision 111. It is a concept sports car with advanced electric powertrain and impressive design. It is equipped with an augmented reality interface, which, after the driver puts on the Magic Clip 2 headset, integrates the media modules, dashboard navigation, and vehicle information into the surrounding environment. Thanks to the combination of two powerful electric motors on the front and rear axles and a high-performance battery with liquid-cooled cylindrical elements, the German manufacturer has created a lightweight experimental car with impressive dynamic capabilities. It's worth mentioning that Mercedes-Benz recently announced the integration of ChatGPT into its Level 3 Autonomous Driving Certified Vehicles and plans to create a network of charging stations. Write in the comments what you like most about this exhibition in Dubai. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. See you later.